I don't think we have to review the way we live, but we have to we realize that the way we live is something vulnerable and precious that we need to define and defend better than we did so far. We need to define a European identity, an identity that is not connected with race or religion or the place of birth, but an identity that is connected with our core European values of democracy and freedom. Freedom of expression always had uh, intrinsic limits uh, because the, the freedom to, to say whatever you think doesn't give you the right to just shout out at everybody else. But what we need to do is um, get our enormous diversity in one European identity and that means many religions in that European identity and I think no matter the God you worship you can choose for the European way of life. I think we have to do two things together uh, at the same time because one of the reasons that those young people leave is lack of aspiration in Europe. There's, there's the lack of a, a perspective, a, a European dream that they can live for. So they choose some other fallacy. Uh, they think it's a dream, it's a nightmare. Um, and at the same time what we need to do here is create a, an Islam infrastructure that encourages dialogue or even discussion. Uh, and tries to mindle different views on Islam in those young children because they're only subjected to one view, mostly from the internet. And European Islam needs to take care of a European discussion on the values within Islam. I think if you do those two things together, create a discussion within Islam, create more aspiration in Europe, less children will go away. It's not a necessity, but it will certainly help. We have a, a Dutch mayor of one of the biggest towns in the Netherlands, who is a Muslim, and he's an advocate, he's a prominent figure in the debate, and that helps because he's an example for young Muslim people in Europe. You can be everything you want, you can even become the mayor of one of the biggest cities in, in a country like the Netherlands.